Yeah, hi guys. So, um, I've been doing a fair few videos on <clears throat> lately explaining uh, the Synagogue of Satan verses in here. <clears throat> I've written to Christians, not Jews, and it's only in two verses. So the, these exact words, Synagogue of Satan, is only in the two verses of Philadelphia and Smyrna. And um, I've been <clears throat> pointing out that people are um, seething angry and uh, hating and using these Bible verses to um, justify their hate. And most of the time <clears throat> they don't hear me, they just hear something like, God oh, hug a Jew or something. But that's not my point at all. My point is just give me my Bible back and stop using it for your own fun or whatever it is so anger is a, an addiction it, it it once satan gets a foothold with anger it, it's really hard to get out of <clears throat> so um i've never really given anybody um help with getting out of uh, this sort of addiction sort of thing um uh, this is just for christians that's still love God above all things and and that so um, I know there'll be people who have just seen the title Jews and just want to hate on Jews so it's not really for for those people so when I was <clears throat> um, first born again I was driving around in my car um, I had a brand new job brand new everything brand new life the whole lot God given it to me and um, I was just learning uh, I was just driving what a thousand kilometers a week now this new job that I had uh, self-employed <clears throat> and I'd pray before I left in the morning uh, every morning <clears throat> and um, I, I never had an accident nothing um, it was great I, I was amazed like because you know the chance of me having an accident in a big city now were up exponentially uh <clears throat> just because the amount of time i was on the in, on the road and the hours that i was doing like was between nine and three um and this one morning i didn't pray i forgot to pray i woke up i was still angry and i was angry about the the gays getting into the churches and uh getting married and all that sort of stuff and um so uh, uh, you know, and, then, and right up until the bit where I smashed into the back of a car and destroyed my radiator. Um, and I was a bit shocked because um, I, I was trusting in God at that time. He was just teaching me to trust in Him um, because of what He got here. So, behold, the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. But your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are you not much better than they? And um, I took this literally, like, especially with his word and the Bible and all that sort of stuff, and that he will look after me and I don't have to worry about anything. Right? Like it, nothing comes down to my own doing, regardless of my ability. You know, both my arms could fall off, he'll still feed me. You know what I mean? So um, that's the way I was looking at things. And for me to crash my car, I... I thought, what God, what did I do? And then I realised I didn't pray for a start. And the other thing I did, I was being angry at gays um, for picking on churches that God doesn't like anyway. <laughs> right? So he wasn't that happy with the churches in the first place. Um, and, the, and the other thing was, I wasn't trusting in him. Right? If I had been trusting in him, I wouldn't have been getting angry. So, um, and don't sin by letting anger control you. Don't, it's a sin, right? Don't let the sun go down while you are still angry, for anger gives a foothold to the devil. Um, love is patient and kind. So, <clears throat> uh, and the other thing is, is this one. Childlike faith. That's a big one. That was the one I was really struggling with, and, I, and it took me years to fight with, because... You know, look, I'm an ex-biker or whatever, and um, I like to good rumble outside the pub after it's shut and that sort of stuff, and um, that was my thing for a fair few years. But um, 
uh, truly I say unto you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child shall not enter it. All right. So unless you trust in your father like a child, you know, you're not going to enter into it. And I say to you, truly, unless you turn, um, turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. So you need to have childlike faith, right? And trusting God the Father, He's got it all covered. It's it's all His, and all this angry stuff is none of your business, right? None of this stuff is any of your business. It's your Father's um, business, all right? It's your Dad's problem. He will sort it out. You don't have to worry about it. You just got to do your schoolwork and get on with enjoying, you know, being a kid. <clears throat> and uh, that's the way you've got to look at life. Um, with God, now that you're with God, you leave it in His hands, and, and you and you don't worry about this stuff. You don't become like this, right? Um, it, it's an addiction, this anger. And you wake up every morning, and you, you go on and on. And then what you try and do is share it with your brethren, right? You you, you try and incite violence. You'll take it to your um, to your friends and all that, and you'll go on about, oh, you know, the Jews this and Jews that, but yeah, I hate, I hate them, we've got to, we got to get rid of them all, if we just got rid of all these Jews, everything would be all right, or whatever it is, you know, um, blacks or whites or, or, or queers or what, whatever, right, it doesn't matter what the thing is that you hate, just, you, you've just got to get rid of all of that, right, and just trust in God, eyes on God, keep your focus on him ask him to help you that's the whole thing please um, fix my heart God please help me please Holy Spirit change me please please fix me all right you got to rely on him like the birds rely on him for everything and but you got to ask you got to want it if you don't want it if you like your hate if you enjoy it then you're stuck with it you, you're not going to get rid of it um, uh, you, you've got to you got to let Holy Spirit change all of your life, not just not just bits and bit, bits and dribs, um, and do that. So I'll also show you this bit here in Revelation, so you just know what I'm talking about. So these two are written to God's most favourite churches. All right, the, if you're going to be in a church, it's these two. And I, I, I love these love these churches, so I'm pretty chuffed to be a part of them. Um, so you'll see here where it says here this is the bit that everyone because it's got the word Jew here All right, behold I will make them of the synagogue of Satan which say they are Jews and are not but do lie behold I will make them come and worship before my feet and know that I have loved thee alright now the word we should be looking at is not this one but this one lie alright so Satan is the father of lies. His children are liars. All right. So his synagogue is full of liars. Okay. So let's change this word to Kermit the Frog. You ready? Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Kermit the Frog, and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them come to, come to me and worship at my feet and to know that I have loved thee, and you're not Kermit the Frog. You got it? Uh, this word is meaningless. It doesn't matter. Whatever they think they are, they could be purple, purple, pink, polka-dotted, whatever, straws, I don't know. <clears throat> but that word is nothing. It's meaningless. But for some reason, this seething hatred has grabbed hold of that, which is Satan, right? This word here, and that's the only thing they focus on, right? This. And this becomes their favourite word. Okay, so the ironic thing is if you're doing that, you are in their synagogue, right? Because you are a liar. You're using this verse um, for your own glorification, not for fathers. Alright, okay. I hope that helps. God bless.